welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Ulina and I'm a knitter from Norway and today I really 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 want to cast on the melange sweater I have thought about this project for some time now I'm going to do it in the leftover yarn I have for this porcelain sweater and I started thinking about this while I was knitting I think the last sleeve or the first sleeve on the porcelain sweater because I noticed I was going to have quite a lot left over in Drops Flora, both in the denim blue and in the white colorway. So I started thinking about what I could do with those colors. And I remember I remembered I knit my son a um, lunch sweater junior, I think about a year ago now, um, that he is about to grow into. And I started thinking about will there be enough yarn for me to make a matching sweater? And I looked into it, looked at the pattern and figured out that it would actually be enough. So I've been so excited to cast this on ever since. And now I just can't stop myself anymore, even though I do have a few pro projects still that I should pay more attention to beforehand. But I just cannot keep myself from casting on. So I am going to cast on the Melange sweater today. It's probably not going to be my main focus or main project for quite some time but today I'm going to cast on and I am super excited so I thought you, I would take you guys along with me.
I'm back with an update, a really late update. Um, this Milan sweater has just been my go-to mindless knit and life has really got the best of me lately. So I've been knitting on this here and there but I've just not had the time to update and this has just progressed so quickly. I think I did the back in just a day and then the shoulders the next but now I am on the body and I've tried so hard to not knit on the body before I do this update but even though I've tried to not knit on the body I've still knit over five centimeters on the body but here I am with the update. I have been knitting on this for some time now. It's still not my main project. I still haven't finished those other projects but I am getting closer to this being my main project and I am still super excited about this project. Um, I am super excited for it in spring. I can't wait to wear this in spring. We still have quite some time with winter left but having this, the colors first of all remind me so much of spring and just like lighter colors, more like pastel especially when you mix them together. I don't know, there's also something about the fit and the thickness, everything. It just gives me a lot, loads of spring vibes. So I love knitting on this. I also am knitting quite a lot of structure lately. So just having this mindless stockinette project has been great and I am absolutely loving it. I can't wait to finish it and be able to wear it and match with my son. He is getting closer to actually um, growing into his sweater as well so I am just super excited. I do have to say though that my one like I wouldn't call it an issue but one thing about this that I maybe don't love is that you start it working back and forth as you can see up here and then I feel like there's quite a stark difference here when I start working in the round where you see a lot more pooling here it's very evenly like the colors are marled very evenly and when I start knitting in the round they start pooling a lot more so especially from afar I think you can see quite a stark line and I don't love that I have talked about it in my podcast and gotten some tips so I am trying to like figure out how to do it but it's already made that line and I don't want to frog it but I do now in the finished sweater I made my son have this problem there as well but now that the sweater is finished I don't really see it as well and it doesn't really bother me as much but now when like so much of the sweater is knit back and forth and then this like stark line where and then you see it knit in the round don't love it. Hopefully that will get better. I'll figure out a way to do it better so I can do that the next time I uh, maybe make this. I've already started uh, thinking about maybe making my fiancé one because I just love this. I can imagine it as a family match. It would be just so lovely. Also my favorite colors to work with. Flora is my favorite yarn to work with. 4mm needles are my favorite needles to work with so this is just a lovely project to be working on and I am super excited. I have uh, been wanting to do the neckline for some time so I could try it on better but I just haven't found the time since this is like supposed to be my easy project but that is kind of where we are at now and I am really close to this being able to be more of a main project that I can focus more of my time on and I am so excited for it.
really long time I keep putting this project down and then just not picking it back up again for super long but since the last time I picked it up again I have actually finished the body now I just finished it and this ripping felt like forever I think I worked on the ribbing for this one for three days or something it just never was long enough and I knit and knit and knit and knit and it wouldn't progress but I have finally bound it off so now I feel really great about this sweater it honestly feel like it's almost done I don't know just because the body has taken so long so now that the body is done it just feels like I've actually gotten something done. The next thing I'm going to do is the neck and then both of the sleeves and I just realized the sleeves are done with German short rows so they're going to take me a lo bit longer than I anticipated but I really hope to be able to finish this sweater this week because we are heading into Easter and Easter holiday so I really want to be able to wear this during Easter so I'm go definitely going to be working towards that but that was my little update and then I'll try it on afterwards so you can see how it looks like now. going to be my last update for the melange sweater because I really ideally would want to finish this today or early tomorrow so I there's no need for another update since the last update I have finished the neck line and I have started working on the first sleeve and I just 
started working on the ripping as well for that so at least i want to finish that today and hopefully start the second sleeve and do the german short rows if i'm really lucky i'll be able to finish both of them because i am really excited to have this done both to get it off my needles and to just finally be done with it after all this time but also because i am so excited to wear it and these are two of my favorite colors in one of my favorite yarns and I really like the fit I think I'm going to get with this so I'm just super excited to add this piece into my wardrobe and yeah since the last time I picked it up now and started working on the body I have been a bit quite good at working on this I still have some other projects I would rather work at but I'm been better at like forcing myself to actually work on this because I do really want it finished even though there's other projects I would rather knit on right now so I'm just <laughs> forcing myself to knit it so I'll actually get it in my wardrobe sometime soon I just feel like when I work on projects for as long as I have <laughs> worked on this even though I didn't think that was going to happen I kind of just lose the motivation to work on it at all if it isn't a project I like work on pretty exclusively and finish quite quickly or at least in about the same time I thought I was going to use I lose a lot of motivation really quick and I just kind of want to forget about the whole thing so I am feeling a bit of that with this but I'm trying to just get it out of the way now so I can stop having this hanging over me and yeah I just I do really want to use it and I really want to not have it on my needles anymore but yeah that is hopefully probably the last update from me on this one and can't wait to show it to you done. Hi, I'm back with the last update or last chat about this Milan sweater. It is finally done. I'm so happy I have finished this. This has been hanging over my head for months now. It took so long to finish, but this is the Milan sweater. It is done. I did finish it a couple of days ago, but 
in true meal fashion it took me a few days to weave in the ends i'm happy it just took a few days because it usually takes me a few months i am better at uh, weaving in ends on my own net though so i think that might have played a part but i did weave in the ends and wash and block it last night and then it's dried <laughs> until now it's still very damp in the sleeves and a bit in the body but it is mostly dry and I just couldn't wait any longer to put it on. I am very happy with the fit now. I have worn it before I washed it as well but I didn't love the length on the sleeves. They were just a bit stiff and I like the ribbing and everything on it much more and especially the ribbing on the body that now sits loose on me instead of like totally close to body so I am so happy with the fit of this sweater it turned out exactly how I wanted it to and I just had to start using it immediately once I finished because I made it to be able to match with my son and we have been matching and it's been the best he has also loved this match uh, immediately once I um finished the last sleeve I said to him do you want to match do you want to fin find your sweater that looks the same and he wanted to so we did that and we started taking some pictures and he loved it he was just chanting matching 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 the whole time we were in the same uh, sweaters and I love doing um, matches with knitting and I've done quite a few but I think this is my favorite so far because I have loved the matches the whole time I've done them since the time he was born but now he actually starts to realize that we're wearing the same thing and he starts to really he's starting to really like it so it's really nice that we can share that joy and another thing I found that's really funny is that this is my sweater but look at my son's sweater in like comparison. I know that it's a bit smaller, especially in like the sleeves. But this is the three to four year old size. And this is the adult female medium size. And there honestly isn't that big of a difference. So I think that's really fun how close in size our, our clothes are starting to get. Um, but I think they turned out beautifully and I think even though I struggled a bit with the marling and that the marling is a bit uneven from the yoke to the body, the marling on the yoke is a lot more even and there's a lot more pooling in the body I feel. Um, but these two sweaters turned out the same. There's a more even on the yoke and more pulling on the body on this as well. So since this is a match, I am happy with how they both <laughs> turned out. Um, I made this in the scraps from my porcelain sweater and I ended up actually using all of my scraps. So I'm very happy with this as a leftover project. Because the worst thing about the leftover project is when you're left with leftovers from the leftover project. But I used everything and I think I ended up using 233 grams of each color. So 466 grams in total for this sweater. And yeah, I love this sweater. I really recommend it. If you're looking for more of a like sweat shirt uh, fit on your sweaters, this is really great. I love uh, how the neckline sits. I love that it's oversized, but it's not too oversized. The sleeves are not that oversized on me at all because I have bigger arms, but the whole fit on this is amazing, I think, and I can't wait on using this all of spring and probably summer as well here because this is just the perfect lightwear weight material to do that um but yeah this is the sweater it is finally done i have been waiting for this moment for so long and now i'm just going to 
take pleasure in it being done, be able to focus on my other projects without having this hanging over my head. This poor guy never really got through the front of the line. It was always a neglected project the whole time it was a project on my needles. So I learned a lot about this project. I don't think I'm going to be casting on an adult size sweater again if I'm in a place where I don't really have the time um, to schedule the adult size sweater as my main project because I found out I don't like having adult sized sweaters as like a back of the line project that just has to wait until everything else is done. I did not enjoy that but I am so happy I got this sweater from it and I learned about a lot about it and what stresses me out when it comes to knitting and what doesn't. So all in all I'm happy with the end result. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like in the comment. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Bye!